Hi, my name's Jenny. I work for Mallory Valley Utility District, and this video will show you how to use your water meter to check for potential water leaks inside your home. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure that no one is using any water. Make sure no one's washing their hands, make sure the dishwasher is off, and the washing machine is not being used. Once you're sure that no one's using any water, you'll want to come outside locate your water meter box and remove the lid. This is your water meter. The first thing you'll notice is the odometer style readout here. These numbers will turn as water passes through your water meter and registers water usage. And this is what we use each month to read your meter and render your billing statement. This is the sweep hand. For a three-quarter inch water meter, which is the typical size of a residential meter, the sweep hand will measure 10 gallons of water used each time it moves completely around the dial. This is the leak indicator triangle. The triangle will move even when the slightest bit of water passes through the meter. And this is a good method for using your meter to check for potential leaks. When you're certain that no one is using any water, come out to the water meter and watch the leak indicator triangle. It should not move if you are not using water. When checking for leaks, some leaks can be intermittent and stop and start, like a toilet leak. And so it's a good idea to look at the leak indicator triangle for a good five minutes. Another method is to use the sweep hand. When you will not need to be using any water for a longer period of time, such as three or four hours, you can use the sweep hand. Come out to the water meter and mark the position of the sweep hand. After several hours, come back to the meter and check the position of the hand again. If it has not moved, then no water has passed through the meter. If it has moved, you can use the position of the hand to determine how much water has passed through the meter. So for example, if it was at the 8 and you came back after several hours and it was at the position of the 9, then you would know that one gallon of water had passed through the meter during your test period. This is an example of what it might look like at your water meter with the water on. We've turned the water on just slightly in order to show the movement of the leak indicator triangle. Depending on the amount of water that is passing through the water meter, the triangle could move faster or slower and the sweep hand will move either gradually like it is right now or quickly if more water is being passed through the meter. An important point to remember is that while using your water meter to check for potential leaks in your home is a good method, it is not always 100% accurate. And that is because some leaks are intermittent, such as a toilet leak that can stop and start, and that can be difficult to spot at the water meter. So there are some other things that you can do at home to check for water leaks. Check underneath your sinks. Check for wet areas on your pipes. Check your toilets and flapper valves. And it's also a good idea to come outside and walk your yard for wet or soggy areas where water could be seeping up from the water service line. If you have any questions, you should contact a local plumber or your water department. 